hey lovers good morning and welcome back to my youtube channel it's a girl ella and if you're just seeing my face for the first time hey hello you're welcome to my space my name is ella and i'm a mom youtuber and to all my returnees hey mwah, thanks thanks for showing me all the love first of all guys i want to say happy new year because i think this is um more or less the my first legit video for this year like i haven't been able to do a sit down video for you guys once i posted was for last year so this is originally my new year's first video so happy new year's guys happy 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 new year so guys how many of you are ready for this video so anyway let me let's prolong this video because i have no intention of prolonging this video anyway but yeah let's jump right into this video so yeah we almost there we almost there i know the other time my last video you guys didn't fully see my bump maybe you did maybe you didn't i don't know my three was bump. today i'm still very much going to be showing you my bump so you can see we are almost there so we're almost done with our third, uh, second trimester and i'm super excited about that so first is first I use Clomids for those of you that have been following my channel, like, you know, I spoke about it. I did use Clomid and I don't know. I don't know. Let me show you guys the bump first. And then we're going to start with the gender swaying gist or should I say talk or whatever. And then we're going to talk or you're going to guess. You're going to guess before you know before i pop it out before i pop it out okay so first of all guys here is my bump so here is my bump as of right now yeah i know i know it's big there you go so i don't know do you think it looks big enough for two or it's big enough only for one i don't know just guess keep guessing while we continue this conversation okay so guys um i did use glow meat yes and you know one of the biggest side effects of using clomid aside from the regulars which i don't think any woman has experienced or even if they have it won't be that much like the whole um if you use it it's gonna cost you uh i think ovira cancer or something stuff like that but that is when you misuse it and you overuse it and you keep using it and you know you just misuse the whole clomid and stuff but then when you follow the right way, the way the doctor say, or your doctor say you should use it and stuff, then the least it can do to you is make you, you know, hyper ovulate, you know, like causing your ovaries to release more than one egg. So, so I did use Clomid for the first time. And that was literally my first Clomid ever. And with this bump that I just showed you guys, which is of course not up to, or not fully done with the second trimester. Yeah uh you can guess or can you guess can you tell <laughs> if it's one or if it's two anyways we'll get to that later i want to put you guys on suspense a little okay but first of all let's talk about what else or something else i also did alongside with this pregnancy okay so i also did the gender swaying all right i've never heard about the gender swaying before i never knew there was anything like a gender swaying before I don't know for some reason i just you know i was just eager and then i was like you know let me do some some one or two research and then i went online and i was like how do you conceive a boy and how do you conceive a girl i mean what's what is the what is what is science saying about that like what is the idea about that conceiving a boy and a girl because i have friends and family members that literally have boy boy boys only in the family and was able to have a girl or just boys and i have two girls so i would literally want to have a boy and be done with you know having kids or probably just have a boy for now and then try again for another boy if the gender swaying did work okay because that was literally the first time i saw something like that so i was trying to find out like how do you do both ways like how do you do this and do that as regarding having a girl child and a boy child and then I saw that you can actually gender sway by timing your ovulation and by not uh, having sex on time. This video is not for kids. By not having sex on time as to when you know you're ovulating, don't go on having sex on time before 
I, don't, I mean, like, don't just start having sex on time, like, you know, and track your ovulation. Make sure you're also tracking your ovulation. And then there is, there's, there's, you're going to get to, you're going to get to a certain part during your ovulation where you then know, okay, now it's time to have sex. And that is literally when you know your ovaries are like doing the job, you know, like popping out that egg. And you want to make sure that your husband's sperm miss the egg you know so they said the the girls um the girls um what's it called sperm swim faster and they live longer and the um, boys sperm swim slower and they die faster so that is the one reason why you don't want to have sex on time so that the the when when your ovaries releases the egg your 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 husband sperm the moment you have sex the boy sperm can just swim faster get there before the female eggs because the female eggs they swim faster though but they they stay longer in the body than the male sperm i don't know the whole thing is just it's just like it's a lot it's a lot to take in it's a lot to learn it's a lot to understand but if you're not understanding it from my explanation you can as well just go do your research and you you get what i'm trying to say because yeah i only heard about it as of last year i did my research that one time i learned of it and i was like okay and that was just i just got it off my mind and i just thought i still need to talk about it because when i learned about it i felt like okay let me try and put this thing into practice because the truth is that yes with my first and my second daughter my two girls i did start baby dancing on time after my yoni pearls i noticed all right it's time for me to possibly you know start ovulating i didn't take my chance in waiting let's let's wait for like two days before we start reaching my ovulation you know i just started straight away throughout before and after my ovulation so i i didn't have any chance to like oh let's wait let's not wait and stuff so for me i didn't do that so when i learned about the gender swaying i was like okay this is still something i cannot you know just still try and see you know and learn you know so with this baby i did start tracking my ovulation even though i've always tracked my ovulation but i've always done it with apps you know those uh, ovulation app menstrual apps and stuff i've never really 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 tracked my ovulation with a stick or anything so this one i did buy the clear blue ovulation uh, i don't know what's it called kit and some other cheap ones as well so i was indeed tracking my ovulation because they said if you're gender swaying don't start having sex before your body releases that egg you know like the whole boy sperm dies on time and stuff and doesn't swim faster so yeah i started tracking and dragging you know the gist if you go back to my previous story my ovulation or whatever lasted only for two days only two days two days so i started tracking i tracked and then when i got the whole bleaky smiley face from my clear blue i knew okay it's time to go because that means your body is i think about to release the egg and then when you get the steady face it means the egg is out is out so I got the whole bleaky smiley face, which is, it's coming out. I don't know. Play Blue uh, digital kit only gives you, I think, three signals, three signs. It gives you the first, uh, the negative, which is the, the circle, the zero. And that means you're not ovulating as of yet. And then it gives you the, um, the smiley face. And then it's bleaky. And when it's bleaking, it means... And then when it's blinking, it means you're about to ovulate. And then when it gives you the smiley face again, but this time it's steady, it's not blinking or anything, it means you've ovulated, you're ovulating. So it's just, I think that is just it. For my understanding anyway, I might be wrong, I don't know, but yeah, for my understanding. So that was literally what I did. So when I got the blinking smiley face, it means it's time to go. So I was like, okay, this is my first time trying this for gender swing and stuff. But yeah, it seems fun, but it's stressful. If you're not strong enough it's stressful as regarding your mental health your whole body and it's it's hard girls it's really really hard i'm not gonna lie i felt depressed because it took me days to actually get that bleaky smiley face and at, at some point i was like asking what's wrong with my body even with the plumid and stuff so um i did and i waited and we baby danced and we baby danced only once with my bleaky smiley face and boom yeah we are a few months later and yeah so guys <laughs> the gender swing 
it's for you to get a boy for when your body releases that egg your baby dance and you just get pregnant and then that is just it so the gender swing is for you to actually have a boy according to what they say and then when you literally you you you, you don't you don't track your ovulation you just see your menstruation and you'll be like let's start baby dancing you you know, this they say i'm not saying according to the research i i had or i saw or that i have seen also on youtube and google and stuff they say when you start baby dancing on time you're gonna have a girl and then when you baby dance late you're gonna have a boy so i don't know and for this baby right here we don't know the gender as of right now my husband and i decided we don't want to know because i just feel what's the rush I don't want to know yet i want to know when the baby comes out and then we can literally confirm if the gender swing does work or not i want to really see if the gender swing works and i can only see that or will be seeing that during delivery so you guys will have to be patient with me and now let's fall back to the clomid and the side effects of having multiples well uh i'm not gonna stress you guys for too long no no clomid didn't make me hyper ovulate no 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 clomid didn't make me hyper ovulate i have right here in this big belly one baby <laughs> i know i know how i don't know i don't know why it, it sounds funny but uh was i was i really looking forward to hyper ovulating yes i was scared as hell i'm not gonna lie being the fact that i don't have that much of a strong fertility problem it's just difficult on the fact that i still do find it hard to get pregnant you know on my own you know once in a while you know like in a month i'm like okay let me try this month by myself and no nothing so i know i do have that problem but i still very much know that my fertility problem is not that bad not that bad you know so that was the reason why i was scared i was like I can still get pregnant on my own just that it takes a little bit of time maybe like you know just take some time and using clomid which makes you hyper ovulate and makes ovulation hurts and when i say hurt i mean hurts so bad and some other changes it might also do to your body i mean i was like scared like what if it doesn't work and then it just messed up my hormones and my ovaries and my reproductive system and stuff so i was really scared about a lot of things as someone whose fertility um problem wasn't that bad like that big of a deal so i was scared i'm not gonna lie and um yeah i was scared and hyper ovulation yes i was also thinking about that because seeing that i can also ovulate on my own just that it takes time just a little bit of time except when i use my yoni purse but then again it takes time on its own by myself so for someone who also ovulates by herself i was like what 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 would people me do to my fallopian to my ovaries even though they usually still do what they um are supposed to do just that it takes time and then assisting with clomid I don't know i was a lot was literally going through my head and i was really expecting that high power ovulation for multiples but at the end of the day i think god just looked at me and said no girl you can't <laughs> you can't you can't handle it you can't handle you can't handle high power ovulation you can't handle you can't handle um multiples you can you can't because girl like the ovulation i had oh you don't want to go there the pain the pain was mad it was crazy so if i can go through that amount of pain for ovulation uh, during ovulation with just one egg you can over you can imagine the amount of pain i would go through when the ovaries start doing all the whole popping of maybe more than one egg like you can imagine just think about it i don't know and maybe god just felt you're not ready you can take it no 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 you can't take it and yeah having multiples i don't know if it's for me i don't know if i'm gonna try it again with the clomid i don't know so that is that as regarding the clomid and the gender swing so guys i wrote down some things here that i am going to be sharing with you guys that i did with my previous pregnancy that i'm also going to be doing with this one and that i have already been doing and still will do later on anyways 
so guys the first things first is eating healthy uh it wasn't planned no i didn't plan on eating healthy because i love eating junk sorry i know i love eating i love eating out i love eating anything you can think of you know that you think your body feels like it's not healthy girl but i don't know i just love eating it anyway but this baby seems to be craving for something that i never imagined so with this pregnancy yes i have been eating healthy and i don't know it's strange but that is literally what i i don't know i have been doing with my first time with my second did i no did i try yes did it work no <laughs> but with this one i didn't even need to try i didn't even need to force myself it just you know just picked up on its own i only want to have you know like it's it's really really nice i am i'm not gonna lie and yeah the second thing that i have also been doing with this pregnancy that i never planned on is exercise yes with my first with my second i planned i tried it didn't work with my first i didn't exercise at all i only tried exercising with my first around my third trimester and that was because i was overdue and passed my due date and then with my second girl i i sure also didn't exercise nothing the only time i also did something was because they were planning to make me go under the knife they thought my baby was too big and they were like oh you have to go through to Sarah and stuff and i, I didn't want to do that so for that reason i had to go for the work for like let's say one hour every day you know just because i want to make sure i go into labor on my own because they were planning on you know just cutting me open and bringing out this baby and i was like no i don't want to do that and so for my first and second exercise no not half not even one quarter but i did try and then with this one i have been exercising a lot i mean a lot way 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 a lot from the from the day i confirmed like even before i confirmed a uh, positive on my pregnancy uh test to date like right now i'm still cycling i do cycling once in a, not once in a while i do cycling every day from then to now i do cycling every day you know and then i also work like every morning so which i think is a good thing for me because i feel maybe since i've already started cycling working going down the stairs and doing stuff which of course next week i'm still going to have to take down my uh exercise ball i believe labor is not going to be that hard and difficult this time around so yeah and then the one thing i won't be doing with this pregnancy as well is induction no i refused it with my last pregnancy and i'm going to refuse it also with this pregnancy um it was amazed on the fact that i said i wasn't going to get induced and glory to god i didn't get induced with my last and this one i believe by his grace also i'm still very much not going to get induced i know circumstances can things can happen i know things can happen that might just change your best in plan and then you find yourself giving birth before time or or just giving birth the way you didn't plan but at the end of the day sometimes you just have to have faith and gently work on it you know so mm-hmm i am so not doing that and then the one thing i am also uh gonna be doing the one thing i'm gonna be doing with this pregnancy is preparing my body the best way i can for labor yes you guys know i always do trust me you don't want to imagine the things i bought already to prepare myself for when it's time so the first things first that i'm also going to be doing is i have of course already bought my raspberry leaf tea evening prime rolls and my betting ball i have already the size i'm doing already and i'm still gonna keep doing anyways so my raspberry leaf tea my evening prime rolls those are already on standby so i'm gonna be using these things to prepare myself my body for labor anytime soon around my third trimester so yes and that is it and the last thing i'm also going to be in doing is inducing with the midwife brew yes that is the last thing i'm going to be doing inducing with the midwife brew because that was what i did to induce myself with my last pregnancy um i knew i said i wasn't going to get I go, i'm not going to be induced with this pregnancy but i was i am talking about the medical way at the hospital 
having to do induction right at the hospital i don't want to do that no mm -mm, mm -mm. it always goes wrong it always goes wrong but getting permission from my doctor with my last pregnancy to you know try with the castor oil you know doing the whole midwife brew and stuff it did help me way better than than you know getting induced right at the hospital so i am going to induce myself into labor like i did with my last so that is literally what i'm going to be doing this time so after preparing myself with all the necessaries that i just mentioned to you i believe my body should be ready enough you know for that day or that time when i'll be like okay it's time or when i'll know okay it's time to try with the midwife brew and boom i should get into a labor like i did with my last and you know everything is just by the grace of god you know it's not by your power and it's by your mind but by his grace so yeah these are literally the things that i will be doing that I have been doing and won't be doing with this pregnancy so i listed that the things i have been doing is exercise and eating good eating healthy the thing i won't be doing is hospital induction i don't want that no way and the one i will be doing again is preparing my body preparing my body for labor and the one last thing i will be doing again is inducing myself at home so these are the few things that i am looking out this time around with this whew, baby which of course is one because i didn't hyper ovulate and i'm also happy about it because it's my first time with the clomid and um my first experience which it's it was hard it was it was painful but not that bad so i would say at least i have had a taste of how it feels and how it works so for in case maybe in the future i don't know if i'm going to be needing it i don't know then i would know okay what to prepare for and what to expect but if i'm not going to be using it again then i would know all right this this was it and yeah so guys, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Subscribe. If you know you have not subscribed, subscribe and be part of my amazing, my amazing family, okay? I know I haven't been consistent, but with time, I will for you guys, all right? So thanks for watching and I don't know why my kids are flocking around me, waiting for me, but I think I have to go do mom duties and see what is their problems. So guys, thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.